the red blood cell has a very unique shape. It is this squashed bagel-like shape, for lack of a better word. And here we have an electron microscope picture of the flat surface of the interior of a membrane, actually showing strands of material which we have been able to identify as one or another of several proteins. So here we have spectrin, which is the twisted polypeptides. It's actually two polypeptides in a helical dimer running here and there on the inner surface of the red blood cell cell membrane. Now, the spectrin is not a membrane protein, but it's a cytoskeletal protein, a protein that's part of the skeletal framework that's going to give the cell its shape. But it has to be held to the membrane, and it's held to the membrane by attachment proteins shown here as blue and yellow spheres. Ankyrin, A-N-K-Y-R-I-N, is an example of one of these proteins that is a membrane protein and that does anchor spectrin to the membrane. I have several things here that are coming in out of order. Okay, so attachment proteins anchor spectrin, and also, if you notice, there's a, an actin molecule shown as a green cylinder, which is also part of the cytoskeleton and must be anchored to the cell membrane in order for the cytoskeleton to give the cell this shape. It has to exert a force, basically, on the membrane to give it a shape that would otherwise normally be spherical, right? The normal low energy configuration shape of a vesicle is a sphere, so this is obviously not a spherical cell. Glycophorin A is a transmembrane protein. It crosses the membrane with that alpha helical region of hydrophobic amino acids, and its function is to prevent red blood cells from binding to one another. So in a way it's a kind of a receptor. It's a receptor that says on, on the surface of one cell, says to the other cell, if you're another red blood cell, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Uh, it keeps red blood cells from clumping when they're not supposed to, to keep your circulation going obviously freely and so that you don't develop blood clots. It's an essential protein because, as we know, there are times when your blood must be able to clot. And under those conditions, something called a coagulation cascade or a clotting cascade occurs, cells, platelets, are allowed to form a meshwork and in fact form a clot. But you don't want this to happen with red blood cells that are functioning normally in an organism that has no need of clotting. So glycophorin A is embedded in the membrane by virtue of the helix and the portion that it exposes outside the cell is a kind of receptor that is able to look at another red blood cell and say, uh-uh, no binding.